break it up. I'll knock your two heads together. The winner. Yeah, you're pretty shifty, aren't you? Let's see how you operate here. Hey. Whoop. Can't lay a glove on you. Look at your shoe. <laughs> you gotta watch all Eddie. the time. Eddie, come over here. You better go inside and wash your face. Why don't you fight back, Eddie? You're a pretty handy lad. What's your name? Tommy Smith, Father. Tommy Smith. Well, keep your head up now. Yes, Father. He's all right. I think you better speak to Tommy, Father. He's a new boy here, and I'm afraid he's a troublemaker. Oh, he's a good fighter, though. We don't tolerate fighting in this school. I think you better speak to him. Because if he continues to pick fights, we may have to send him to another school. Oh, but aren't we supposed to be educators, sister? I mean, uh... Instead of sending him away, let's try and correct him. I observe very little correction in your attitude, Father. As a matter of fact, I detected a slight note of pride. <laughs> Naturally, I like to see a lad who can take care of himself. On the outside, it's, it's a man's world. How are they doing, Father? <laughs> Not doing too good, but you know what I mean. Uh, sometimes a man has to fight his way through. Wouldn't it be better to, to think your way through? Well, that's pure conjecture, of course, from someone on the inside. It's very well put, though. But don't you think sometimes in raising boys, a, a woman's influence can be carried too far? Oh. You mean they may become sisters, Father? Yes, yes, that's right. Well, well, you look after Tommy, and I look after Eddie, who lost the fight because he listened to me. <laughs> 